Leo. What it be, yo? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October, y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> And I'm so sorry for being late, but I went on a vacay, okay? You understand what I'm saying, boo? So listen, I'm recording this on Halloween. Y'all are getting this on Halloween. And trust me, right up after this, I'm about to upload. I don't know if I'm about to upload it or if I'm about to run it live. But we about to do a tea leaf reading for you guys as well. So y'all about to get a double dose of goodness. So, you know, I just not, listen, it's my fault. And I'm going to make sure that I make it up to you. So, Leo, we about to get into this, you guys. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who has clicked, liked, shared, and subscribed to your girl. What's up with your boo? What's poppin', baby? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? All right. If there's anyone that would like to support the page, of course, the only way. That you could do it the best way that you could do it. Not the only way, the best way you could do it. It's by clicking that like button, okay? That's the best way to support the page. It's by clicking this like button and tell a friend to tell a friend and tell a friend to come on and check me out, all right? If you guys would like to send any other forms of support, have it be booking a personal, um, a private reading, um, sending a love donation. If these videos um, resonate with you, you can check the description in this video or you can check the about tab on my YouTube page, all right? It has my private pricing list for bookings i do my video readings i only do video readings you guys um i do my video readings on instagram messenger if you do not have instagram messenger um we can link up for the video reading on google hangouts okay google hangouts is a free easy app to download only thing we need to exchange with each other is our email okay and then we can do the live video reading and you know we can see what you know god has for me to tell you so you know um and again um all forms of payment is accepted through cash app paypal so you know um of course we always going to give praise and thanks to god for everything that we have and, and everything that we do because we couldn't do or be any of this um go through any of these experiences elevate our life in any type of way without him um he is our foundation he is our rock you know, so, Father God, we want to come here today under the sign of Leo and just acknowledge you. Just be so willing to just, like, express our admiration for you. Just how much you, you, you know, sometimes we take for granted because of the tower moments that come in our life and stuff. And we think you're not there. No, you orchestrated all of that stuff because it was orchestrated for a reason for us to come out with our betterment in tow. You know what I'm saying? We always learn lessons after, you know, downpours of, of, of change. You know what I'm saying? Um, no one ever said that change would be easy, but you always said, Father God, it'll be worth it. Um, so sometimes we don't understand what you're doing, when you're doing it. But when it's all said and done, we understand that there's a master plan to everything and you are a masterful creator we thank you for everything that you've been creating in our life everything that you've been shaking washing down and taking away sometimes we don't understand it but listen take it you know what i'm saying i we learn from last year and the year before last to stop questioning you know what i'm saying when you remove things from my life father god so um it's to create room and space for new blessings a new harvest, Father God. And this is harvest season, Father God. It is the season, Father God. You know, we just came out of a nice harvest season. And we're still recouping a lot of benefits from the blessings that we prayed on earlier this season. So, Father God, thank you so much for everything that you've been doing in our life. Please give us guidance today for the sign of Leo. Uh, you already know where to be with us, Father God. We strong. You know, we are a pillar of strength. We're learning how to fight our own demons and, like, turn away from the temptations that used to get us before. So, Father God, continue to help us walk on our journey, Father God. Continue lifting us. Continue gifting us with the wisdom that you give us. We thank you. We are so humbled by you, and we are so gracious for your love. Amen. All right, let's get into this. You guys, let's get into the tea. So, if you guys have been watching the other readings, you already know. I'm about to place these cards face down. That is, if they will let me, because some of them be like, hold on. Okay. Watch out, little bitch. Oh. Watch out, little bitch. Okay. Watch out, little bitch. Okay. They be like, watch out, little bitch. I got to talk right now. I got to talk right now. So, we're going to see what we got going on. See, they already trying to. 
turn up and pop out. See, I, I, I knew it was going to do this. I'm only taking the one off the top. It says, how I feel is more important than how I look. How I feel is more important than how I look. Let me see what else this, this other stuff is saying, though. What, it, was it just two cards? It was three cards. Okay, let me see. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm not. I'm just going freestyle y'all spread. Okay, it says, every next level of my life will demand a different version of me. How I feel is more important than I look. And every next level of my life will demand a different version of me. Mm. Setbacks don't define me. They nudge me into a new awareness. Now, wasn't that what I was talking about in the prayer? Listen, y'all just had a tower moment. But when I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all about to come out looking like a fresh, hot, steaming loaf of bread. Have y'all, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all remember that old story when we were kids about the mama hen? It used to be these these books with the little animals and stuff. And it was like the mama hen and the little children was outside playing. And she kept telling all the kids to come in and help her get the wheat and help her, um, you know what I'm saying, roll out the bread and help her do all this stuff to make this loaf of bread and ain't no one wanted to help the mother all they wanted to do was go outside and play and fuck around and not be responsible it was like they did not want to chip in they did not want to pull their part they didn't want to be responsible in order to receive the outcome which was this fresh delicious hot steaming loaf of bread with some freshly churned butter Milting. Do y'all understand? Have y'all ever got like, especially if y'all ever been in Miami, have y'all ever got some of that Cuban bread with that butter and some coffee? Bitch, don't play. Listen, I don't know why I'm feeling like y'all about to come out this bitch. Like you are that fresh loaf of Cuban bread <laughs> with that nicely churned butter that everyone is going to be like, ooh, ooh, can I have some? No, bitch, nah. Y'all can stand there look in the window. Y'all can't afford this bread. Y'all didn't put in the work. Y'all didn't do a motherfucking thing to earn this. No, you will not have a slice of shit. You can sit here and watch me eat it like shit. And run up so I can punch you in your face. Because if you think that you are about to come up off of my hard work, it's not about to happen. I don't know why I feel like that. The how I look right now, it's like right now I feel like you guys um, might not be at y'all best because, and you know, Leos are very, very, I, the Leos that I, I know, they like, especially Leo males, they like to look damn good. Like right now y'all might not, um, they're saying physically fit for some reason. I don't know if you guys might have uh, gained a little bit of weight or something like that. Maybe you just like, I don't know, because every, look. I done gained a little bit of weight. Okay, we all just been sitting around and stuff like that. But how I feel is more important than I look. It's like you feel powerful. It's like, I feel like you just been sitting around and not being as active as you used to be. I think things are starting to kind, kind of pick up. And there may be people around you that, um, as you're picking up the momentum and like you're full focus ahead, you are... I want to get this weight off of me. I want to get, you know, it's certain things that you really, really are looking at. Like when you look in the mirror at yourself, you might not like what you see right now. Just in general, the overall picture of where your life is, it doesn't necessarily have to do with your physical appearance because I know some of y'all like, I ain't out of shape. It don't got nothing to do with that. It's just like the outlook of where certain things is going in your life and you do feel like there is a setback right now. This whole COVID, everything has fucked everybody up as a collective. Me as well. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? But that shit don't define me. I smell that bread. Do y'all smell the bread? Oh, honey, I smell the bread. Y'all better stop playing. Every next level of my life would demand a different version of me. This setback was to create... <laughs> The new emperor. Okay? Boom! The new emperor. 
Something that you ain't never been before. Something that you ain't never seen before. Something that you ain't never imagined before. Look, you know, like even, okay, ooh, mm -mm, for my fellas, hello. So listen, you know like how back in the day I used to be real skinny and all of that stuff like that. And But when you get a little bit older, you, you put that grown man weight on. Like that grown, but y'all look good. Like seriously, I know some dudes that I knew when I'm back in high school. They was real skinny, but they done got a little thick. They kind of got that grown man weight on. They got bald heads now. They got the little salt and pepper, little, uh, little facial hair and shit. Look up sexy, like the mother look up sexy. So I don't know. I feel like y'all appear. Like I want you to be comfortable in the way you looking right now. Like I know it might not be the way that it was, but baby. Baby, like, come on now. This is a new emperor stage. This is a new emperor flow. You know what I'm saying? You got to get some new threads to dress the part. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you are leveling up. Uh, excuse me, are leveling up. And even though you feel like it's a setback right now, it's not. Like, it's, it's a setback for a come up. It's a setback for a come up. Setbacks do not define me. They nudge me into a new awareness. Yes. Okay, listen. Y'all should just want to pop out. Look, you got the six of wands in the reverse. And then you got the lovers. Okay, so listen. This is something where you feel like you're not being recognized. You um, may have put a lot of... Okay. This is where someone is underestimating your skills. Um, your hard work, um, even your ability to provide leadership in a situation. I'm feeling like someone is not allowing you to um, lead. It's like people are doubting your, um, they're saying your, entrepreneur, your entrepreneurial skills. Like people are questioning. I feel like people are questioning. Why? Ooh, why are they saying questioning your motives? Like what? What? Okay, so it's okay. So they said that someone's in a search for recognition, and that's why they're questioning someone's motives. How you feel is more important than you look. I'm, I'm getting that with this. Hold on. And one of y'all might be 20. So I'm going to back this up a little bit because I, I feel like this is for a younger crowd. Um, look deep inside you and pay attention to the recognition from who you are trying to receive this love from. This is the lover's call. You know what I'm saying? The lovers should be something that's mutual. You know? It should be how you feel more though how something looks. You know? So you may be in a situation where we jumping into a love part. And it just might be in career as well. Where you fighting for something and you feel like you're not getting the recognition and you being set back. You don't like the way things look right now because someone isn't recognizing you. They're not giving you the praises. They're not glorifying you. They're not honoring you. They're not engaging with you in this passionate way that you feel like that you deserve. Um, this situation is demanding a different version of you. It's demanding a different version of you. The lover's card can mean a lot of things, you know? And with this being over here... Um, I feel like this setback in this situation, and again, I do feel like this this could very much so be in career, could just be in your overall look at your life. This lover card to me represents the full package. A happy relationship, beautiful kids, wonderful career, vacationing. Waking up every day looking at the person while they're sleeping, just falling in love with them, laying next to them, and y'all heart beating in unison, just like always wanting to be with each other. Like, this is.
is the type of love right here where it's like y'all might not be able to afford more kids but y'all can't keep your hands off of each other y'all just keep procreating because there's love there that's what you want you know what i'm saying you might have came out of a situation and, and, and again it has to do with um career because have you ever been in love with um a passion a gift that you have it gives you so much power it gives you so much warmth it gives you so much freedom it's just like i want to keep reproducing it i want to keep growing this i want to keep giving this like i would give it for free i would just give it because i love it you understand what i'm saying like this setback is not going to determine how much love i'm putting how much passion i'm putting this i deserve this I can't sit back and focus on why other people are not recognizing me. They're questioning my skills, my abilities. They don't want to give me the recognition. That's probably good because maybe God wanted you to do this shit on your own and stop looking for recognition from people and, 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 and attract that shit to yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I swear, once you go through that feeling of being rejected and you're like, fuck that shit. I do that shit on my own. <laughs> Listen. That's when you get that power. And it's like a, a animal magnetic attraction where every single thing that's going to fit that element that you need to bring this new thing into life that you love, it's going to come to you like a magnet. You got to decide and you got to look at like this shit don't listen. Oh, no, setbacks define me. It nudged me into a new awareness. I know what the fuck I want. I know what I deserve. Fuck y'all. That should have come to me. You hear me? Look, oh, look, and you see her arrow? Look, it'll come to me. Fuck y'all talking about. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry that someone thought. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Y'all disrespectful. Oh, y'all really thought y'all was about to play with the Leo. What it be, yo? Yeah, gang. Don't ever do that. Listen, I'm not... <laughs> Listen, y'all know I'm going to read these cards and I'm going to put empowerment in it. What the hell am I going to sit there and be like, oh, y'all are feeling sad because no one's... Fuck these niggas. You understand? Fuck these niggas. You hear me? Ain't nothing but power in this. And that's why in the prayer, it was like, man... Having the strength to have the determination to stop chasing your temptations. Because sometimes, like, the want and the need for power and recognition can be um, a battle and a temptation. You know what I'm saying? Listen, the Sea Beacon Fairy. Exactly. The Sea Beacon Fairy is basically, like it says, guidance, but where will it lead you? You know what I'm saying? If you want to continue... And a search, and the number three is communication, and number three is like your creativity, your energy. It's like if you want to keep giving your energy to people who lack of respect, lack of admirations, they like your ideas and they may want to take it for their self and not give you the credit for it. You understand what I'm saying? Like if you want to keep going back towards that. God can only lead you in a way of what your heart is desiring. So that's why I really want you guys to, when you, and, and, and I'm serious. Now listen to me, heed this warning. How I feel is more important than I look. Stop. I know it would be a good look for you to finally get the spotlight and the fame, you know? Like this could be fame. This And I'm, I'm serious because like this could be about someone's career. <laughs> I'm serious. This could be about fame. Be careful what y'all ask for sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because be careful what y'all be asking for. How you feel is more important than you look. The way you feel right now is that these people are not respecting you. So if they're not respecting you now, what the hell make you think? That just because things would turn around, the look would turn around, and you will finally get the recognition and reward. What make you think that you would actually feel any better? Only thing that would change was the look. Behind all the glitz and glamour, when the lights and camera and the show goes off, you still around people 
that ain't seeing it for you. They may give you that moment. Just see, peep, see, ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all gotta peep game, y'all. Y'all gotta peep game. Be careful of the type of attention that y'all seeking. Because it could be the wrong type of attention. And that's what the Sea Beacon Fairy is saying. Like, let me read this to y'all real quick. Number three. All treasures. Let they get rid of all tree, you bitch asses. Okay? It says, sometimes when a clear path seems to be taking you in the right direction, it helps to know who's holding up the light. Because while the Sea Beacon Fairy is most certainly... Um, guiding a lost ship who know whether she will lead it towards rocks or towards a safe harbor and this is the choice you have to make now is this path that is clearly being lit the right one simply because there is a light or the promise or the hope do you see what I'm saying just the thought you know what I'm saying it's like this isn't even a, a guarantee of fame, fortune, and, uh, you know, you getting, uh, yeah. it's just a hope. Just because the lights and shit is there doesn't mean, oh my goodness. Okay. It says simply there is a light. Is the source a true and good guide? Would you be best to await another way out of the storm? Are you so eager to avoid the storm? And the challenge that you are willing to f uh, follow the first light that comes along. I'm serious, y'all. Be careful of the recognition that you are seeking when you can attract something that's totally on your vibration. Sometimes a setback can propel you to a future. And like they said, sometimes their rejection is God's protection. Because sometimes people uh, 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 give you attention. Just to make you feel good and make you trust them so they can steal your ideas. Like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this is someone in the music industry. This is someone um, that I, I'm not even just getting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting like engineering of like an app or a product or something like that. And it's like, I feel like a lot of your hard work and your ideas have gone into a project. That you're not being recognized for. I feel like other people are getting the fame. It's like you might be one of the people behind the scenes that if you was to look into the paperwork, you your name would be in there. But it's not the first, the second, the third. It's all the way down there when you should be one of the top three because it's your formula. It's your, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I feel like you need to, their rejection is God's protection. I feel like people are going to steal. It's like fake camaraderie. And want to steal your likeliness. And promise of you receiving some type of fame. Or something like that. It's like. I don't like that. I don't like that. Be careful of that light that you're seeking. You can seek your own. I'm serious. It says the sea beacon fairy speaks, you guys, and I got to read the whole thing because God is telling me to do it. I do hold up the light, but only you can choose as to whether direction I will lead you is the right one for you at this time. It may be your salvation that I lead you to, and it may be that I am gathering souls, and you <gasps> will perish upon the rocks. Y'all hear that shit? Y'all hear me? Again, again, all right. It says, but only you can choose as to whether the direction I lead you to is in the right one for you at this time. It may be your salvation I lead you to, and it may be that I am gathering souls and you will perish upon the rocks or drown in the cold sea. I know this is hard to hear. It is not a sure thing. This advice and guidance you have received. And for all its insistence that it comes from the light. The advice may not be that which you need to follow at this time. I understand that this may be confusing. But I am ensuring you 
mostly of one great truth that perhaps you may have to find your own way at this time. I told I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all, young. Oh God, Jesus help me. Okay, the divination message. A perfect solution to a problem has been presented to you, but whether it is wise to take it is another thing altogether. You may have more resources and opportunities than you are aware of for that you are allowing yourself to believe in. Do not be quick to follow the first opportunity that comes. Wait and check both of your sources and your inner wisdom. There are many paths and many solutions. Not all advice will be the right for you. Listen, I literally just went through this. I'm going to give y'all an example, right? This was like in dating. Look, the lovers, like this was in dating, right? So, it's like, okay, I have no problem with being single. But, you know, you do go through these times. But it's like, uh, I'm tired of being alone. I want to seek some, you know, just I want some attention. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is a lot of attention, right? So, I go talk to a family member of mine who lives a completely, totally different lifestyle of mine. But she's never lonely, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm single because I choose to be single because I'm working on myself and my priorities. So, I go listen to this idiot, okay? And I go take her advice on how she attracts love and what she does. So, I go... And take this advice from the damn sea beacon fairy. Do you understand? <laughs> Listen, sometimes like you gotta pay attention to the advice that you're taking because not for nothing, and, I'm, and it's no shade, but that person lives. And I tell y'all from jump, this person lives a totally different lifestyle than me. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think that she's trying to attract high vibrational love. You understand? So it's like. Why would I listen to someone <laughs> like Lee? She literally is like the sea beacon furry that be drowning niggas in the sea and be collecting souls and be fucking niggas up. So it's like, why the hell would I listen to her crazy ass and then be surprised of the outcome that I got in the situation? You got to pay attention to the guidance that you're getting and who the fuck you're listening to because... Me and this girl lived completely polar opposite lifestyles. This girl was really not trying to attract love. She was just trying to attract temporary attention and like, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. No, I want soulmate. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you guys might have taken advice from someone or something that you felt like it could have set you back or whatever and i feel like you're not getting the attention and recognition or whatever pay attention to the source of what you're trying to get this attention for allow their rejection to be god's protection to get you to the new love that you need i need to um put two cards over here yeah i'm just freestyling y'all spray because listen Give me two cards. For Leo. Clarify the lovers. I said two cards, chat. I said two. Thank you very much. So what is this? The hammer. One more. I'm going to take one off the top. Thank you. And then talking, the same one came out. So, um... I feel like it's, take, like it's taking you some type of courage to not talk to someone i feel like it's you're having to hammer into someone's head that like you're not playing uh and you're not talking to this person um i really do feel like you're trying to take control of your destiny and it's not going to benefit you by talking to people that bring you hardships and they, I feel like there's no loyalty. You really, really are focused on this love. Um, I'm looking at this man's dreads right here. Like, you know how long it takes to grow your locks? It takes years of pride. Like, locks represent pride to me. Pride. Um, you guys are trying to attract someone that has a strong heritage. Strong belief systems, honor and pride, respect, 
I feel like it, it may be um, something that's hard for you to resist to do. But I, you, 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 right now, you may not be talking to no one right now. And this may be something that you're having to hammer into your head right now. Resisting the attention from the wrong type of people. It's just like, I'd rather not talk to nobody. And this is something I feel like God is hammering into your head. Like, you're hammering it into whoever these people were that weren't giving you the respect that you deserve by not talking to them. You're not talking to them and you're not talking to anybody else. I feel like... Mm. Y'all excuse me because my stomach is just crumbling. I didn't give me some food. Um, I feel like um, you guys don't want a relationship or any type of business interaction with people where it's like you have to take your respect by force. It's like it shouldn't even be that. I shouldn't have to hammer this shit into these people's heads to actually love and respect me by me not talking to them and me having to cut them off and things like that or um or like I said maybe it's being hammered into your head that these people don't love you um because they're not talking to you look sabotage rebuild and interrogation repetitive persistent working on it so like like I said this could have been a situation where um this could have been hammered into your head by God in the universe that in order for you to get the correct vibration, you have to stop talking to these people that are taking advantage of you. They're, they're not giving you the attention, the love, and the respect that you need. So why the fuck are you talking to them? No. Setbacks don't define me. They nudge me into a new awareness. They nudge me into the fact that I need true commitment and love. I don't need that. How I feel is more important than how I look. Yeah, it may look good for me to be intertwined in this situation with these people. Yeah, it may look good, but it don't feel good for me. What's this? The mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror and really pay attention to the reflection. I remember we were talking about over here like you looking in the mirror and it's like your current appearance may not be with you um because i feel like some of y'all may feel like y'all worn out y'all beat down y'all gain a little bit like you just not looking and feeling like your normal self but i don't feel like you're supposed to like this is your new look this is your new you like embrace it love it tone it up make it look good make it feel good it ain't about how you look is about how you feel, you know? So what you're not around these people no more. But don't you feel better? You know what I'm saying? Tailor your look to your new existence, to what you are. Every next level of my life will demand a different version of me. It ain't gonna look like this. Fuck their recognition. That's what I'm about to yeah, That's why I'm about to name this John. Like, fuck their recognition. Their fake ass recognition. Shit, I see it for myself. See, that's the thing. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't need nobody to. Okay, what is this? The ten of coins in the reverse and the hangman. Yeah, again, so it's like some type of financial hardship or some type of loss that you're going through. And. You are experiencing this right now because, like, God wants you to, like, let it go and let it burn. I really do feel like it. It's just like it's time to start over. Um, I really do feel like this is a work relationship and a love of a career or something like that. Um, I want to say I want you to... It's like, give yourself this just sign. Give yourself the recognition. It's like, why are you waiting for other people? And, and, and I feel like it's like God is allowing you to sit back and watch some shit burn to the ground. Because it's like, really, these motherfuckers can't even survive <laughs> without you. I feel like as soon as you step away from a situation and it's like they should have given you. You see, look, what, what are they doing? 
this person is recognizing it's giving someone merit is giving someone what is this saying equality is, is is making them an equal partner to this business or some shit and it's <laughs> i'm sorry like they should have did that shit because they didn't do that shit and you walked away God is allowing you to see that shit burn right before your motherfucking eyes. Like, I'm so serious. And it's like, you are going to be so... And like, if you pay attention... He is... Hung. The fire is on the outside. If you pay attention, it's not inside of this wicker thingy thing. It's outside of it. And it's like, God is allowed... If you look at him, look, it's butterflies... It's butterflies and shit around his feet. That's transformation. That's to move your feet in a new direction. God wanted you to see this. Listen, a hangman going into the death. What is the death? Endings for new beginnings, transformation. God wanted you to see this. Like, I swear, I feel like somebody that... But you know what? It woulda, shoulda, coulda. I don't feel like they shoulda given you the recognition. They 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 should have did exactly what it they what they did because God wanted you to see that shit. They weren't doing nothing but sabotaging their self. They weren't hurting you. Their rejection is God's protection. This said mirroring each other's self image, uh, relationships reflecting our room introspection. Like I don't I feel like. They just said the player tried to get played or something. It's like someone tried to play a game with you because I don't. They're saying Puff Daddy, like making the band or some shit. Like this is like someone trying to follow like a puffy model type on like, are right, we about to go do star search? I'm about to go get all these young. Uh, uh, talented artists. I'm about to put them in the band. I'm going to give them all of this hopeful fortune and fame and recognition, but I'm about to take all their royalties and all this shit. I'm about to slave work them or like, it's just, it's, oh, it's something. It's something. It's something where you guys were not equal, equally, equally giving your share of your part of this business this relationship, this investment, this project, whatever the fuck it was, you were not equally acknowledged. And God removed you for the entire moment. Something happened. Something happened. For you to release that shit. The Ten of Coins is going into the Ace of Coins. And again, the Ace of Coins and the Ten of Coins is in the reverse. So something bad, a big loss happened. But you walked away to a new beginning to the ace of coins. It's just a delay. This delay, this setback didn't do anything but give you a new state of awareness to get you back in track of what you love so that you could stop talking to these people that are blocking you from your blessings, that are doing nothing but taking from you. I, I'm serious. You deserve that. And you want to attract someone that has pride. Pride in their self. Pride in their work. That loves what they do too. You know what I'm saying? Like Sabbath. Look, trying to hurt you would be trying to hurt myself. That's 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 what this is. You feel me? Over here was someone, people that was out for self. And didn't care about who they was hurting and how it looked or how it made them feel. They just wanted. They just wanted to use you. I'm sorry. Um, but at the same time, like, um, you can't make the band without the star player. Like, how the fuck you think you gonna fuck over the lead singer of the band and think that y'all gonna still be able to carry on and y'all gonna be successful? It's like, nah, like... <laughs> no, it's like once this person it had to be hammered into Leo to walk away. This is repetitive. This person keeps doing and they, they keep promising me that this this recognition. I'm never getting it. 
But I'm still being persistent and working on it. And this person keeps in... No. Mm -mm. Ay, Dios mijo. Let's see. I told, listen, the ace of spades. This is the death card. Y'all don't know if y'all dealing with a Scorpio or something. Y'all gotta be dealing with the Scorpio. Y'all gotta be dealing with the Scorpio because y'all got the hangman and the death right here. This is the death card. And all of this is saying it's like someone being blocked, not talking to someone, it having to be hammered into someone's head to make them stop dealing with these people and move and stop. Okay, so it says, who am I? <laughs> I will remember if I can. Who am I? I will I will remember if I can. So this is like someone kind of lost their self. Trying to receive fame and recognition from someone else. And I want to say someone robbed you of your style almost. Or it's, it's, it's like you kind of gave it up. Like it's like you kind of gave up your style and... It's like for you to move on. For you to move on, it's like I gotta kind of yeah, I created that shit. Like that's my shit that they're doing out there that they're making money off of. But I I, I why do I feel like it's like someone made some music, made uh, a product or something, and it's literally legitimately is your product. I want to say that these people. Did not give you your equal part. They stole your recipe. And it's like you're literally having to walk away. And have to reinvent yourself. And it's a, it's a thing like. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Because I put my all in, into this. And you know what I'm saying. But. If you did it once. You can do this shit again. I swear if you just stop. You gonna see this shit. This shit. They think that they about to go with your shit and be prosperous. It's not gonna happen. And so, doo doo. And sometimes, God is is very funny. <laughs> That's why when you be focused on yourself and you listen to what He is trying to tell you, this setback, this blockage is your blessing. You are going to attract the right type of shit in your life you're going to create something totally new okay it's going to take you some time to develop it just like it took you some time in this but you ain't got nobody trying to take your recognition like this is yours because you ain't talking to nobody i feel like now you you know not to give your ideas to nobody it's like you might not even be talking to nobody about this new love this new experience this new gift that you're about to bring into the world you know what i'm saying it's like you got you taking pride in it this time. You'll really take a pride in it this time. And you may not be talking to nobody about it because it's like, well, who am, who am I? Will I remember if I can? I got to start all over again and I got to leave these motherfuckers with everything I fucking worked for. When these motherfuckers going to get their karma, they going to burn. This shit had to be hammered into my head, but... Clarify this love that's in the talking in the reverse. Look, the Ten of Diamonds. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. The Two of Clubs. The Six. Oh, the Nine of Diamonds. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are reloading. Now, this is completion. And God just told me, laugh now, cry later. Laugh now, cry later. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Didn't I tell you? Sometimes God petty like that. Sometimes he's very, <laughs> he got a sister Elma. When people fuck you over sometimes and they think that they about to run away with your merit. And they think they're going to get away with bullshit. No, they're not. And sometimes God will let you watch. 
Listen, it says, my name means the shape that I am and a good, handsome shape that it is, too. Listen, didn't I tell y'all some of y'all just got a little plump and stuff like that? If y'all listen, when it say how I look is more important than I feel or how I feel is more important than I look, you're healthy. And guess what? You know how, like they say, the kings and queens in Africa, the 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 rounder and the thicker you are, mean the richer you are. That mean you got enough money to eat, bitch. So I'm eating good. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm eating good. So I don't listen. Now, now, motherfucker, want to reach out for a helping hand. Now, motherfucker, want to reach out for a helping hand. These people see that you are. Oh, okay. Let me read these. It says the race is over, but who has won? So this is the two of clubs in the reverse, right? This came out in the reverse. So what this is, because I, I really don't read these in the reverse because you really don't have to. The two of clubs to me represents like negotiations um i'm getting banter like back and forth like a choice and something clearly like it says a race but who is one but who is one someone try to steal your ideas your gifts your talents your recognition they try to take it for their own but at the end of the day who ends up reaching out to who for a handout for some help. The race is over, but who has won? Surely not you. Laugh now, cry later. Like, yeah, it's like you might be sitting up on your high horse like a fat rat. Your ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds. You reaped all of the benefit in the reward because you stopped talking to these people. You stopped dealing with these people. You, instead of focusing on how you look right now, you focused on how you feel and started appreciating the way that you look. Look at look. Didn't I say something about y'all going to get some new fabrics and shit like that and you embracing your new look and shit like that? Didn't I say somebody with a fucking bald head? Y'all, y'all gonna stop playing with me. Y'all gonna stop. Y'all gonna stop. Listen. And look who's be reaching a hand out to you down. And honestly, but right here, I'm I'm getting that because listen. These people had a choice in the nine of diamonds. You know, the nine of diamonds is personal success and gain. And you see how this hat came when it first came out, it came out in the reverse. Right? So it says one side will make you grow taller. The other side will make you go shorter. Right? So these people had a choice. I want to still like these people stole your likeness. Who am I? Will I remember if I can't because it's like, you can't even go out in the streets with your own fucking music, your own style no more because these motherfuckers is doing this shit almost better than you. It's like they done took your homegrown thing and then remastered and reproduced it for their own and they think they're getting fame and recognition. So they don't even understand the type of person that they fucking with. You about to come out with some whole new shit. And they ain't even going to hear that no more. And then when the truth comes out, I swear to God, when the truth comes out, it's like you're going to have one hell of a testimony, baby. When the truth comes out, everybody going to know. Like, okay, I'm getting Kanye and Travis Scott. Remember, no one knew that Kanye had a ghostwriter until, until um, Amber Rose had said, man, fuck playing Kanye. If you going to play him, play the nigga that wrote his shit. Play Travis Scott. Right? Then once people really started to get to know who Travis Scott was, the man behind the man, right? Look at where Travis Scott is now. Everybody is reaching out to touch Travis Scott's hand, trying to make deals with him, everything, everything. The only way to look... Do he deal with Kanye like that? Do he... How can he, how can he be the Travis Scott? How can he be Travis Scott? If he was still ghostwriting for Kanye. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah. You can definitely hear Travis Scott. When you go back and listen at that Kanye 808s and Heartbreak, that album. You hear Travis Scott in that music. You, you see what I'm saying? 
But now Kanye ain't getting that. He ain't getting that success and shit as an artist no more. Who's getting it? The real person who should have been getting that equality from the beginning. They should have just given him the recognition. Now Travis Scott done went and took over the motherfucking game. Like, I'm sorry. Looking what he went and got him a little Kylie or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Listen. Listen, Tony. The only thing I'm saying is that nigga is on his shit. He on his shit. He had to make a choice. He had to make a choice. How he feel versus how he look. He embraced his new look. Reinvented his new look. Reinvented his style. And that whole world reaching out to him now. Yep, am I right, T? Uh, got a hype. Williams for the hype, please. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, Talk to me nicely. Uh, 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 franchise sight, T. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all got me. Twist it right now. Y'all got me lit. I'm sorry. I'm about to call this Travis Scott franchise. Yes. Stop talking to them lames, yeah. Stop talking to them lames, yeah. Because I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Look at. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. Stop. And I just want to clarify the two of. Um, I want to clarify real quick the two of clubs real quick, real quick, the quick. Real quick, 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 real quickity quick. The two of clubs, look, a social, a business invitation. All right? A business or social correspondence, any type of benefits being given or received or in exchange, a gift, a birthday, or anniversary present. Something being given or received, but not limited to material things only. The gift could be someone's time or energy being given freely. It may be a piece of helpful advice. Or a specific favor. Or even being being given a bit of good news. A clock. Time. What was this whole shit about? Take your advice. You keep playing the background for other motherfuckers. Why they not giving you the recognition. You don't know if they leading you to some bullshit. Y'all. Mmm. Mmm. The nine of diamonds. This is your personal success. This is fame. This is the card of fame. Notoriety. You have a choice to continue to engage in this social and this business interaction with these people. You understand? This was in the reverse. This was in the reverse. You were coming out. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Do you understand what I'm saying? So listen, pay attention to who the fuck you are talking to, who you're engaging with, all for fortune and fame. Because you may only get a little bit when you can have it all to your fucking self. Because if I flip this back over, because this came out in the reverse, but I flipped it over for whatever reason. Because I know you're not talking to these people. You are attracting the right type of love and the right type of energy to you. And again, this is about people trying to reach out to you now after you are successful. Because they think Humpty Dumpty was going to sit on the wall and have a great fall. Humpty Dumpty ain't had no motherfucking great fall. Humpty Dumpty sitting up there looking pretty motherfucking good to me. These bitches is reaching out to you. Not only that, but the whole world is reaching out to you. But because of this previous engagement, where you were taking advice from people who stole your likeness, took your recognition, tried to steal your fame, didn't try to give you the fame and recognition that you deserved, you know better. You franchising, okay? Talk to me nicely. Bitch, I'm gone. Listen, shout out to Travis Scott and um a Young Thugger. Because that is definitely what we naming this shit. Franchise. Talk to me nicely. Travis Scott tease. Oh, God. Listen. Y'all don't let nobody steal y'all work, man. Don't let nobody steal y'all work. Don't let nobody lead y'all ship into damnation. God's rejection God allowed these people to reject you so that you can see these motherfuckers and watch them burn because you don't do people like that and they're going to watch the real motherfucker come up 
Laugh now, cry later. I'm gone. Peace. Hit the like button. Like, share, subscribe. I see you.